Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. Imagine your house without a gate, with no walls, no doors. You have no security, safety. Whoever wants to enter in your house, you will. From a fly to a thief, a dog, whoever person can enter this house because it has no walls. The word of God says that this is a man who cannot rule over his own spirit. The spirit of a man serves as protection for him, or if he cannot rule over this spirit, it will be the opposite. He will be completely open to whatever may happen to him. You will be like someone with no immunity, a body with no immunity. A flu can kill the person. Let's understand what God wants to tell you and to all of us in regards to our spirit. Everybody looks for stability. The human being looks for stability in life, in all senses of the word. Everybody looks for financial stability. For instance, people have the illusion that if they have money enough, all their problems will be solved. So they dedicate most part of their lives looking for money, financial stability, which is important. Have no doubt about it. It's important for you to have a stable source of income. Then for you to be worried with what you're going to eat today. But that's not all. We need financial stability, physical stability. No one lives at peace if the body is in pain, if you don't sleep well at night. If the doctor told you you have an incurable disease, and the list goes on. We need physical stability in the health. We need emotional stability. Because the person who is emotionally unstable has signs of lack of control. If you saw someone emotionally unstable at times, the person is to take a strong medication to calm them down, for them to be able to sleep. At times they need to be hospitalized because they cannot control themselves. They have anxiety, fear, worries, depression. They become bipolar. They are nervous, angry. Anyhow, when the person surrenders themselves to their emotions and they take over them, they behave as a crazy person. Then, it no longer matters money, physical stability, because if your emotional side is not stable, all the rest is pointless. So the human being looks for a financial, physical, emotional stability, family stability. Nobody wants to arrive in the house and to be worried what they will find in there. There are many who don't want to go back home because they know there's no stability in the house. They always keep fighting this cold war, but at times hot war. At times a cold war, nobody talks to anybody. Or it's a hot war, that as soon as they enter the house, there's something being thrown at them. Or an aggressive word. Nobody can live well without stability. But... The problem with the human being is that they look for stability in these aspects of life and they forget that what brings stability to every aspect of life is the spiritual stability. If I don't have stability in the spirit, the spirit that sustains me in the sickness, in the difficulties, when I'm upset, when bad news, in that in unemployment, the spirit that sustains me when I find out 
that I have a immense problem in the family, a disappointment with a child. If your spirit's not strong, what's the point of you having solution, peace in the other aspects of life? And hardly you'll find someone who does not have their spiritual life stable, established in God, they will always have something in their lives that is upside down because the foundation of their lives, which is the spiritual life, is in ruins. That's why the text says like this, it's like a city broken down with the walls, whoever has no rule over his own spirit. Our spirit serves as protection for everything that is within us, in our lives, behind this wall. The spirit is the barrier that impedes evil to hit what is behind the wall, which are all the other aspects of life. So if you look for stability as any other human being, if you want financial, emotional, physical stability in your family, in all aspects of your life, Use your intelligence and prioritize the spiritual stability. Establish yourself in your spirit. Like this, you have a foundation for the other areas of life. And how do we establish ourselves in the spirit? The only strength, the only source of strength for the spirit is the Word of God. It's to lean on the Word, the Word that does not change. He who looks for stability looks for a firm land where they can lean on. If you are wobbly, dizzy, you look for something to lean on, to hold on to. So for the spirit to be firm, it needs to lean on something that is more firm than it. This is the spirit of God, the word of God that does not change. So, if you want to have spiritual stability, start to learn more about the Word of God, meditating on it, reading it, learning what God says, and not only this, not only knowledge, add to knowledge faith, certainty, put to the test that what is written, start to live your life with this direction, making out of the word your direction. Do this and you will start to realize that your spiritual feet are on firm land. Your spiritual feet are not wobbly upon quicksand. Your spiritual feet are firm on a solid foundation and no one can shake it. Learn the Word of God. Add faith to what you see, read what you learn from the Word and practice it. That's all. If you do this, then little by little you start to conquer financial stability. Because through the Word of God you will learn that you need to be an honest worker, diligent worker, that you need to apply a spirit of excellency. If you do this, your reputation will follow you, will precede you. And you see that people will be disputing to have you working for them, the product you produce, money will follow you because you followed the biblical principles in your financial life. If you have the spiritual stability, you have emotional stability because you will think twice before lashing on your wife, children, before you giving yourself into worries. You will no longer fear bad news because you fear God. He who fears God no longer fears bad news. Your emotional stability comes from the spiritual stability. If you have spiritual stability, it will teach you how to take care of your health. You will take care of your body because it is the temple of the Holy Spirit, not because you want to show off your body, 
going to the gym to show off your body, to call people's attention. No, you will take care of your body because it is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your spiritual stability shows you this. You won't bring anything to your life that harms the Holy Spirit that dwells in your body such as addictions and other things. So when you invest on the spiritual stability, the other areas of your life start to become established. And if you have been asking yourself why your life is upside down, why there's an earthquake in this area and another earthquake in the other area, why there's a quicksand in this financial area, why is your world in ruins around you? There's a great chance that your spiritual life is completely unstable. And it's through this that you need to start to bring stability to your life. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.